Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Antonio Baxter, a next-gen intern working here at AWS, who's here to discuss the impact he's made in educating, connecting, and inspiring the next generation of students all about the cloud. Anton, thank you so much for being here today. You've spent the last three months of your summer working on an amazing project, Youth Tech. So can you start by explaining to our audience what exactly is Youth Tech? Hi, Ali. Um, Thank you very much for having me on. So Youth Tech is the summer intern project that I was given to complete here during my time at AWS. And it's a fantastic corporate social responsibility program designed to educate, connect, and inspire females from underprivileged backgrounds, aged 14 to 18, about the cloud and all the possibilities that the cloud provides. Um, So this program actually started in the United States in 2019. And um, it was my goal to bring it over here to Australia um, and to bring its mission of education and connection uh, to students here. Um, So what we do is it's a one and a half hour long webinar in which we have a presentation by myself or fellow Amazonians about the cloud, our fantastic partners, what we can do with it. Uh, We also have a fantastic workshop which we developed here, which is called the Puppy Challenge, um, where we teach the students to use the AWS console and teach them skills about artificial intelligence, machine learning, skills that really will be so important in driving the future. Wow, thank you so much. And it just must be so fulfilling to have been given this opportunity to work on a project here at AWS that actually has the potential to help so many people. So Anton, I was wondering if you would be able to share with us, why is it so vital that we actually get students interested in the cloud? I mean, it is such a young age. So why are we, why are we helping students with this? It's really important that we get kids interested in the cloud at a young age. Research has found that by presenting kids with the cloud skills and the cloud knowledge between the ages of 14 and 18, but they're more likely in the future to go forward and pursue a career in technology. And this is just so important to create a diverse talent pool that the technology industry, both here in Australia and around the world, really needs. It's been shown in research that gender equality around the world will add an extra $490 billion to the global economy. In the tech industry as well, it's just so important that we get kids interested in cloud and technology at a young age. It's currently only 29% of people that work in the tech industry are females. So it's so important to create this diverse talent pipeline by getting females interested in the cloud at a young age. Thanks so much, Anton. And I love your passion. You can see it when you're speaking. So thank you. And at Amazon, we truly do believe that the cloud has the potential to change the world for the better. And I know that you were able to hold the first youth tech event in Australia last week, which is a huge achievement. So would you be able to share with us what has been the impact of the event? How did it go? Brilliant. Yeah, so we're incredibly excited. A few of us here at AWS managed to hold our first event last week uh, in February 2021 here in Australia. We partnered with a fantastic nonprofit foundation that helped us to connect with uh, an amazing cohort of female students. And we conducted the webinar over Zoom. We um, showed them the PowerPoint. We allowed them to play with the puppy challenge and they were able to create their own artificial intelligence model, which actually allowed them to detect pictures of puppies and photos. And it was a fantastic event. We received some brilliant feedback. The girls seemed to really enjoy it. And a lot of them, I think about 80% of them said that this got them interested in the cloud. They hadn't heard of the cloud before. They didn't know that there was a future in the cloud for them. Um, So it's fantastic to know that we've been able to go out and inspire these girls uh, to pursue a career in technology. And hopefully this is the start of, of something much, much greater. I'm so glad it went well and that you've managed to deliver hopefully one of the first of many youth tech events, have you said, here in Australia. So lastly, can you share with us the future plans for youth tech? I mean, I know that you want to, you know, you're finishing up here in three months. Hopefully you're going to come back as a graduate. But are there any details of how any interested parties can get in touch with you or how, how even an organization or cohort of students can get involved in something like this? Yeah, definitely. Um, We would love to get as many people involved in this fantastic initiative as possible. We'd love to get um, involved with nonprofit organizations to help co-deliver events with them, but also enterprise customers as well um, in order to help them, uh, allow them to come and uh, participate in the youth tech events and to um, show the students role models in the tech industry that they can aspire to and get advice from. Um, For any uh, internal Amazonians out there, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. We would love to have your support as well. Thank you so much, uh, Anton. You know, you've done such an incredible job here at Amazon in the three months that you spent. You've actually been working in my team specifically. So I feel so lucky to have met you and 
to have seen the wonderful work that you've done and hopefully this amazing you know program will continue so thank you so much Anton and to all our viewers at home we'll see you next time